I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing in the race, thinking about how the race is going to plan out and um, just thinking about kind of what position I want to be in at each point of the race. As I'm walking out, I'll be looking for more owners and trainers and uh, thinking about what we're going to be saying to them more than anything. They pay a lot of money to have their horse in training, so it's my job to make sure that they enjoy their day as much as they can. You'll have had, you'll have had your instructions off the owners, the trainers and everything, so you, you know what you want to be doing. You're aware of the people around you because you'll know what kind of all the other horses are going to be doing. It helps if you do your homework first before you go on riding a race because then you you have the upper hand. So at that point, I'd be just trying to keep my horse relaxed, make sure I get down and start. Yeah, basically to get the horse down to start as relaxed as possible and make sure the horse is in the right frame of mind. <laughs> Thoroughbreds are highly strong animals and um, they weigh a lot more than us, so if they want to do something, you can try and stop them doing it, but if they really want to do something, you've sometimes got no option. I would have an idea on the form of my horse. Uh, like obviously, they have handicap marks, so you'd have a kind of rough idea of what mark your horse is running off and if it's on a winning mark or if it's able to win off its mark. And I suppose um, it's a number of things that kind of add up to whether it's got a chance or not kind of thing. I'm lucky because uh, we have good stall handlers, so they um, they do a brilliant job um, getting us all loaded up into the gates and everything. So I suppose just I'm, my job is just to keep the horses switched off as possible before going into the gates, really. When the gates open, you're get, trying to get in your position where you want to be in the race. Obviously, uh, sometimes you want to be in front. Sometimes I'd want to be in mid division, and sometimes you want to be out the back. It all depends on how that horse likes to be ridden.
Well, if you're in front, it feels booming great. If you're not in front, it's not so great. I suppose when you got over the line, you're trying to think of um, obviously how the races went for yourself. Uh, if you think it's went well, if you think it's not went well, that's a good feeling when you go into the winners' enclosure and um, obviously there's all the crowd there and everything. It's a great feeling. Um, it's great on the big days. It's great on the small days as well. But um, no, it's a great feeling. Your head is then switched on to what you're riding in the next race. So you're just off that one, switch offs, and then your brain switches on to the next ride you have. I've got five today, so a busy day today.